Wes Anderson, formerly known as Rockwell Anderson. And I'm Mel, formerly known as Mischievous Mel. And for over a decade, Wes and I traveled over 20 states and two foreign countries, photographing over 1,300 bands and interviewing over 400 of them. Our traveling rock and roll life came to an end in late 2019 when Mel and I became born again Christians. And it changed again dramatically in January 2020 when I was diagnosed with a deadly and currently without a cure cancer called adenoid cystic carcinoma. Because only God knows when our last day is going to be, Wes and I decided to make every day a new adventure. That's how the adventures of Wes and Mel was born. But our adventures aren't just about us. How boring would that be? So we are coming to a locale near you and want to know what makes your town special. Where are we going to eat? What are we going to see? What is it that only the locals know? Show us the hidden gems. We want you to become part of our adventures. So contact us or follow us at The Adventures of Wes and Mel on any of these platforms. We hope to see you on our next adventure. Before we do that, we have to get psyched up. And part of the excitement of Green Bay is the whole experience of it. You gotta, you gotta live it. You breathe it, you bleed it. So I am talking to two artists who are helping to make Green Bay what it is. One of the most looked at, awesome football places on the planet. So take it away, sir. <laughs> hey, my name is Matt. Uh, my brother Jake and I. Uh, there you go. Um, we've been painting players since since the players have been going on the fence. So we do murals, uh, different players every year. This year was pretty unique. It was pretty cool because there was a contest for the slogan. Uh, so you know somebody won a bike based on based on what they gave us. So uh, yeah, this is great. I always get pumped up this time of year. Uh, it's it's pretty fantastic to to be down here and and enjoying the Packer experience. And you know how nice the Packers are? As I found out there is a Saints fan staying in the house you guys are decorating. Oh, really? How does that make you feel? <laughs> oh, well, you know, it's, it's Green Bay. We're friendly, you know? We are very yeah. friendly. Yeah, so. Very friendly. We'll probably try to get them drunk, I guess. That's, I mean, that's that's the goal. We might have passed that time already. It's yeah, eight no, something in the morning, and this guy's plan was already like, I don't know what's happening. Something about a fence, but I'm going over to breakfast, a beer. Yeah. So, there you go. Anyway, yeah. what about you, sir? What's your role in this? Oh, uh, yeah. I, it's my only my second year helping Matt do this, and it's an honor to do it. It's a tradition that's in Green Bay, and it's just something to be really proud of. And opening, opening home game is always super exciting, and to have this on the fence all year round and have everybody drive down Oneida Street is pretty cool to be able to see this and get pumped up for the season. So, so how long have you guys been doing art? Because I can't even draw a stick person, so I'm kind of <laughs> curious how this all rolls out. Uh, I've, I've, well, Jake and I have been drawing football players out of Sports Illustrated magazines, I'd say since we were four, probably. And we've just always been doing it, so it's cool to be able to translate what we've always been doing, you know, into this fence where everyone can see it and, you know. So since nobody has seen it yet, is it okay if you guys want to turn around one of your handiwork so we can show the camera? Yeah, sure. All right. There you go. Or pieces, or pieces. I see pieces of body parts yeah, laying on the ground. Yeah, it's going to go over there. Here, Jake, I'm going to hand this to you. I'll yeah. turn this around. Oh, this is kind of badass. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so we used to paint them so that they would just be on just on the fence, but over the last couple of years we've been making them larger than the larger fence, than so light. yeah, so they kind of just stand out over the top of Lambo. so. Oh, that's kind of really badass. <laughs> uh, we constructed it in the living room this past week, and then last night we took them outside and jigsawed them all out. Then uh, Chris brings his trailer over and lugs them over here. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna be a real dick and do something silly. Okay, Can cool, I cool. give you a hand? Yeah. Ah! 
that's when cheesy works. And since we are Wisconsin, cheesy works. I had to. I saw it sitting there. I was like, come hey, on. Thanks for the hand. Right? So anyways, uh, this is just really, really fascinating and exciting because that, I mean, it's one thing to draw it. It's another thing to take it and carve it out of wood and then place it on there. And those things, those are what give it the pop, the 3D, the... It's amazing. Um, I'm absolutely astounded. Again, I can't draw stick people. But we are here and we're getting ready for them to put this dude up on the fence and then we're gonna talk to the painter himself and then we're gonna watch the Green Bay Packers kick some ass yeah. at their opening game. Yeah. yeah, Pack! Go Pack Go! Go Pack Go! Go Pack Go! Here we are in Lambeau Field 2023. Lot of love going on. Go Pack! This gentleman here is probably even more famous than the Packers themselves for what he does for Green Bay and the excitement and the town that it is. Because when you are a Packers fan, you bleed green and gold. And the whole town Oh, the whole town rocks. 20 years of doing the fans. It's my 20th year, it's my anniversary. Go Pack Go, and I can't wait to get it on and get it on, baby. Woo! When people see Fence Painter, most of them don't really understand what fence painter means because That's you right. go above and beyond. What is your version of fence painting? When they ask me that question, I just tell them the way it is. And I'll point to the fence I paint. I paint the new slogan on it every year and then they know from whatever state that they're from. It's, they're from Australia, from one other country. It's amazing what the fan base that Green Bay has. And then I tell them the whole story, what I started, what I created, da 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 da. And here we are today, doing the slogan for 2023. Most people try to sneak into like concerts or fairs when they're little. I heard you like jump the fence to the Packers. How'd that work out for you? And that's a great story because that's where it all started when you think about it. Back when I was 10, 11 years old, We'd have cyclone fences and wait for the ushers to turn their back and we'd climb the fence and then we'd sit and get on the fence, climb over the fence, in the snow banks and sit on the steps and the cement steps inside the third and fourth quarter and watching the game for free. Did you ever get caught? I don't think so. If they do, they just put, take you out and that's it. You do it all over again. You <laughs> go to a different section, you do it all over, you climb the fence, you go in, you don't get caught. So we are standing here today in front of the a fence you're about to work on. Can you talk to us about the process and the beginning of what you're doing and the and what the goal of the fence is? The process of the fence each year is after the slogan is run in the previous year, you have to take everything down with what you have on there from the previous year. Then you have to prime it, repair it. If there's any repairs, I'm very fanatic about my work. A couple of screws, like 25, 30 screws to fix this puppy up, fill in the cracks. Get it all primed, let that dry overnight, come back the next morning, paint it. First, this is one coat. I don't need a second coat because it looks beautiful. So then, then we wait for the day, which is today, to paint the new slogan on it, get everybody involved, and here we are today. I'm gonna sit down and enjoy, have a glass of water and a cookie from the person that won the slogan. It's an amazing thing. We are here in Green Bay, Wisconsin with the winners of the slogan contest for the Green Bay Packer fence. That's right, today's an exciting day because so much is happening. It is the first Packer home game that we're gonna win. It is the repainting of the fence in front of a Packer house right across from the stadium. And these lovely people here are the people that have chosen the words that are gonna go on that fence, which goes back to the slogan contest. So would you guys like to tell us your story? I was reading our church bulletin and I saw an advertisement for a bicycle shop where I bought my last bicycle. So I started reading it and it said, make up a saying for the Packer fence and you could win a new bicycle. I thought, Shh, at my age, a new bicycle? I need a tricycle. <laughs> but anyway, I did enter the contest and I won and it was a surprise. But I knew I had to incorporate uh, our new quarterback, Love, in the saying, and I, he's such a team guy. He worked out in California in the off season with wide receivers and my favorite, Aaron Jones. So I incorporated that into, this, into the slogan. So, and we were really surprised when we won, and uh, we got a new bicycle because of it. I like how you brought up local businesses and stuff because that's what this 
team and this city is about. It's a family, it's a community. Most football franchises are just, hey, that's my team and I'm from anywhere and then you go to the stadium and it's scary and there's no love. We got lots of love here. Oh, we got love. <laughs> we got a lot of love. And speaking of love, I heard you all found out about your win on your anniversary. Oh, it was unbelievable. It was, we've only been married 55 years, so you know, it's, it was, and then Christopher shows up at our, our doorstep and he said, you won, and D Denise answered and it was like, wow, I can't, I mean, what's he talking about, one, you know. So it was, a, it was a special day. It was our, like I say, our anniversary. That's quite the gift. How'd you feel about it? I didn't believe it initially. <laughs> because when someone comes to your door, you certainly don't expect them to say you won and then you think that it's, a, it's some kind of a hoax. So it took uh, Christopher maybe 15 minutes to convince me that we really, <laughs> we really did win. And by the way, as far as winning goes, uh, we are also Packer stockholders. And uh, our son is also a Packer stockholder, so I think that that's really special as well. So we dearly love the team. Can you explain that to people? Because a lot of other franchise, well, actually, no other franchise does that, and people don't really understand that. So, what is the stockholder situation? Basically, you donate a uh, hundred dollars for a piece of stock, and it's not tra transferable. So uh, we, we have stock and we also bought some for our son and that was his favorite Christmas gift when he was really young that he got a for stockholder <laughs> certificate. So anyway, it's, it's more or less just something you hang on the wall. But it's, it's special to be a, a stockholder, I think. So we do get to go to the stockholders meeting which they hold once a year. It's normally in July and they talk about the finances of the Packer organization and what's new and and different things like that so that's kind of interesting in the beginning they used to do things like tours of the stadium and uh, different things like that now it's gotten too big that they don't do that Hi, I'm Norv, and this is my son Brady, and this is a bike that he won uh, for the slogan contest. And uh, this is our little granddaughter here. <laughs> She's so cute. <laughs> That's Liliana. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm an avid mountain biker, so I decided to upgrade a little bit. Uh, but JMB Sport here in uh, the Suamico area uh, provided us with this bike. It's a specialized stump jumper, uh, real nice mountain bike, full suspension, and I thought I'd put some uh, fun yellow pedals on it so it looks a little more packery. Uh, so, <laughs> biking and packers, what goes better, right? <laughs> you gotta love this. All you need is love. And you gotta yeah, baby. <laughs> and you gotta wash it down with an Anape Brewery beer. Yeah. Oh yeah, That's we got the some best. Of that. Hey guys, it's Mel from the Adventures of Weston Mel, and we are here on Fence Painting Day in Green Bay, right across from Lambeau Field. And talk about being a city of community. It's not just football. We have a city alderman down there painting the fence. Hello, I'm Mark Stoyer. I uh, live in Green Bay, Wisconsin. I'm a city alderman for District 10 in Green Bay for the last 11 and a half years. I'm a huge Packers fan and uh, saw it in Facebook, I believe. Hey, come on out, you know, come on out and paint the fence. So I've never done it before. I've got a large bucket list yet in my life to deal with, and uh, this is just one of the things I can check off on my bucket list. Go Pack Go.
We have kids of all ages painting the fence. People come from all over to paint this fence. One came from Manitowoc, Wisconsin. Say that three times fast. Hey, I'm Nancy Bollier from Manitowoc, Wisconsin. And I heard about this on local news. I always wanted to do it, so I thought I'd come out today and do it. Just, I just love seeing all the fences and how they change them every year. And it's such a good way to support the team. Go Pack Go! This is so awesome. It is truly community. When you think Packers, don't just think football. Think family, because it is all about family, tradition, and yes, football! Mike Reifenrath from Nebraska, Kearney, Nebraska. Calvin Reifenrath from Kearney, Nebraska. And every year we come up here, we just like to see all the change of signs every year. It's a really neat thing, neat tradition. I'm Jim Schmidt. I'm the former mayor of Green Bay. Uh, elected back in 2003 and just so happens the same year Chris started painting fences and I think there's a real connection with the Packers and the community but it's so much more than the product on the field. It's, it's the community engagement. What we're seeing here with neighbors, with friends coming out and painting, the tailgate parties, just the ambiance of this city. Um, it, it's no wonder why you know Green Bay is really the number one sought off place to watch a game because it's more than a great Lambeau field it's the whole community of Green Bay and we just appreciate all that people do to come out and give a little volunteer their time have a lot of fun greet neighbors and then enjoy a, the most winning franchise in the NFL so um, yeah it's a great city great community and uh, I welcome you to the city of Green Bay There we go. We back to Green Bay. I changed it up a little, folks. You all know me as the fella in the uh, white mink coat with the G on the backpack daddy, but I brought Hawaii to Green Bay. Now you see my man Jordan Love. For all y'all that know me, and a lot of y'all know me, I told y'all five years ago, he was gonna be that dude. I never Rogers bashed, but he left us five years ago. Y'all should have known Jordan was gonna be the man, and he got skills. Go Pack Go! That's, that's it! So your work has been featured on TV, like ESPN and other sports interviews. What does that feel like for you? When I see that on ESPN, any NFL game, and they have a little blurb of it, it's 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 a culmination of everything that you've done and worked for already there. To see it live and say, "Wow, I did that!" It's amazing how it turned out, and everybody see. It. When I first started it 20 years ago, it's my 20 year anniversary today, that no matter where if I go to the grocery store or gas station, say, hey, you're the fence guy, you're the fence guy. Yeah, what's going on in the fence this year? I don't know. <laughs> it's amazing, it just, it's just, 
All the other 31 teams of the NFL, do they have homes across the street from their stadium? I told myself I'd like to be the 32 NFL fence painter, but I don't know, it'd be a lot of work, it'd be a lot of work, but it's crossed my mind, so watch out people, it might be the NFL fence painter. So that being said, I hope for your anniversary that the pack gives you the best gift ever on opening day. It's the face face fence painter's anniversary and the first game of the pack, and we want to win for that anniversary. Woo! Woo! Go pack go! We're gonna yeah. win! Saints! Smash up! Hey! <laughs>
Yet they still loved each other and they loved her so much that they were willing to come to the home of the Green Bay Packers where it's more than just football. You bleed football when you come here. And it's not even just that. They were enjoying it. I'm not supposed to say this on camera, but they were crossing over. They were digging Packer Town. That's right, in Title Town, there's so much going on. The Packers are here at their first home game, and we had a very amazing day today. Today was the 20th anniversary of Chris, the Packer fence painter. That's right, he does this magic. So if you live in Green Bay, you might want to check him out at the PackerFencePainter.com. Anyways, now that I shouted him out, I got to tell you that the day was amazing. They started at 8 in the morning. It's not even 5 o'clock yet, and they are done. And this is a masterpiece. And so I want to invite you to say, come on down to Green Bay and stay. What? You don't have a place to stay? Well, the fence that was being painted is in front of an Airbnb. Imagine staying at this Airbnb right across from Lambeau Field itself. That's right across the street from where it all goes down. Who do you call? Call KFPRentals.com. I guess that's not calling them, but you know what I mean. It's a new way of calling. Anyways, check them out to get your Packers Airbnb and check out the fence painter. And we will see you soon. Make every day a new adventure.